I just wanted to share something that the Lord has put on my heart, just to encourage you and uplift you in this time. The Bible says in the book of James chapter 4, that we should, from verse 7, that we should submit to God. Hi, Christian, how are you? Um, that we should submit to God and resist the enemy and come closer to God. And God will come closer to us. And uh, sometimes as we rebel against the things of the enemy, it pushes us closer to the Lord. Amen. And we look at the book of James, um, how it tells us that we should resist the enemy. There must be a standing against the, your thought life, your fleshly desires in order for you to come closer to God. And then we learn in uh, the book of Daniel, where Daniel um, was put into the lion's den. But just a few verses before that, we learn that there was a decree sent out by the king that no one should call upon the name of their God, but only worship the idol that the king has uh, made in his um, honor. But Daniel refused to bow before any other God. That was his resisting of the enemy. And sometimes in our life, we need to learn how to resist. We need to learn how to push back the desires of the enemy in our lives. We must, the Bible says, in, uh, Paul says that the things that I want to do, I tend not to do. And the things that I don't want to do, I tend to do. Oh, wretched man. This is what Paul spoke of himself, the great apostle Paul. And there must be a resisting in our life. And when we resist and we come closer to God, we find that the grace and the mercy of God covers us. And this is what happened with Daniel. Many people think that God made the lions um, timid and friendly towards him. No, the nature of the lion remained the same. It was the God that Daniel served and, and came closer to that touched the mouths of the lion and shut it. The Bible says that the, the mouths of the lions were shut. The nature of the lion remained the same. If God was not there, they would have devoured they, uh, Daniel. But it's the same in your life. If we learn to resist the enemy and as we come closer to God, the storms of your life, the situations that you are facing does not need to change. The nature of the situation is of the enemy. Every storm, every difficult situation you go through in your life is an attack of the enemy. And his nature, according to John chapter 10 verse 10, is to steal, to kill and to destroy. So the nature of your storm can never be changed. And we go through these storms. But as we come closer to God, the, 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 the attack of the storm is made calm. God, God, as God shut the mouth of the lion, God can calm that storm. Even though it can be effective to someone else, but it will not touch you. And this is the hope that we have in Jesus. And this is what uh, David spoke about in the psalm when he says, Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I would fear no evil. That means the shadow of the, the valley of death was there, but its power over David was taken away because he chose to resist the enemy and come closer to God. And so we find that Daniel was uh, in the lion's den. But the lion had no power. And you find that when the king came and found out that Daniel was saved, those people that trapped him, the king threw them into the lion's den. The same lions that did not attack um, Daniel. The Bible says before they reached the bottom of the lion's den, the lions broke their bones and, and devoured them. So the storm had power over someone else, but not over a man and a woman of God. And I want to encourage you this morning that whatever storm you are going through, as long as you stand strong and you resist all the temptations of this world and, and come closer to God, that God will ensure that the storms that are brewing in this world at this moment, every storm, whatever its name may be, whatever the situation this world is facing. You stand strong and know that you are God's chosen people, that God will make every storm void around you. It will have no power to touch you because you are not normal. You are the sons and the daughters of God. So I just wanted to encourage you with this little word. Uh, maybe there's someone out there that's going through an overwhelming situation this morning. And I just want you to know that God loves you and God is going to make every storm around you have no power over you. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We can't stand for everyone else, but we can stand for us and our family. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Hallelujah. So I just wanted to bless you with that, that, that the storm doesn't need to change. But the nature of the storm doesn't need to change. As long as God is with you, he will strip it of its power. Amen. Whatever you're going through this morning, whatever your life is facing right now, I want you to know that there is a God that we serve that is bigger than it and he will take you through. Amen. 
So I just want to bless you with that. May the Lord keep you and um, help you through whatever you're going through. Know that He will never leave you and never forsake you. Amen. So may, the, may you be blessed. Enjoy the rest of your day. Just one more quick announcement I've got just for those out there that are following us. The Lord put on my heart to um, start a driving church. Because there's a lot of people that cannot make it to church for whatever reasons, maybe sickness, maybe age. And how long are we going to carry on with this uh, situation that we find ourselves in? And uh, these poor people are not coming to church. So the Lord said, take the church outside. So we've got a big property and I'm going to uh, put up a stage outside in our grounds. We've got a huge ground. We can put like 300 cars over there. And um, we're just going to have our service outside. So if you're around in and around Kibler Park and if you're missing church, maybe in the time when your church is closed and if you need to come to church, you just come, you drive in with your family in your car, you park in the parking lot, you listen to the word of the Lord, you enjoy the service and you drive out. You're not exposed to anyone and the old can come, the sick can come. And the prayer of the Lord will be given to them. So I just want to send out this invitation to everyone. If you are in the area and if you just want to take a drive on a Sunday morning, you're tired of the lockdown, just take a drive to 52 Main Service Road in Kibla Park. And our church starts at 9 o'clock. You drive into the parking lot with your family and you just listen to the word of God. And when it's over, you drive out. You're not exposed to anything and uh, your family is safe. Amen. So I just want to extend that um, invitation out to you. And uh, if I got time later, I will come on and just greet y'all again and, and share the invitation to other people. So may the Lord keep you, may He bless you, and may you stand strong and know that there is no storm that is greater than the God that we serve. His name is Jesus. He is Jehovah El Shaddai, the Almighty God. May the Lord keep you and bless you in all your ways. Amen.